Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale 62 foot plain deck flat car from Wheels of Time. This car represents one of the Southern Pacific F70 43 cars that was built by GBEC in 1966. Many of these cars lasted into the Union Pacific era. This car has an MSRP of $35.95. The paint on the car is very crisp and even. All of the small writing is legible. It features separately applied grab irons and very delicate stirrups. I also like some of the subtle detail on the sides of the car, like the tiny hole in the middle. The car comes equipped with KD number 58 couplers. The couplers on both ends were at the correct height according to the KD height gauge. The ends feature uncoupling levers, separately applied grab irons, and trainline air hoses. The B end also has an exceptionally well done brake wheel, and a photo etched brake platform. The deck on the car appears to be molded into the car body and not a separate piece. However, Wheels of Time has done an excellent job in painting in a contrasting color. I think with some weathering, this could look pretty outstanding. The car has really good detail on the underbody, including full brake rigging. A lot of this isn't visible from the track because of the deep side sills on the car. The model is equipped with metal wheels. A couple of the wheel sets were slightly narrow in gauge according to the NMRA standards gauge. The car weighs 4 ounces. The recommended weight for a car of this length is 5.25 ounces, but still that's pretty good for a flat car. Adding weight with a load wouldn't be too much of a problem. Wheels of Time has done a really nice job on this prototypically correct Southern Pacific flat car. It's really neat, especially for someone like me who models the SP, to have something like this. I am going to take off one spike for the wheel gauge being too narrow on a couple of the wheel sets. So my final verdict is 9 out of 10 spikes. If you or your company make a product that you'd like us to review, please drop us a line at reviews at tsgmultimedia.com.